Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Renz from the Renz on Project, and in today's video, we're going to do a comparison video between an original Nendoroid N and the bootleg version. I got the bootleg from a scammer that I thought he is selling an original, but I'm also at fault since I didn't double check the box. Good thing is I managed to get an original N few weeks ago. So in order for you to not commit the same mistake that I did, watch this video and learn all the differences. Also shout out to Jenny Supremo, I was inspired to create this kind of content thanks to her. So be sure to check her channel. First, let's talk about the packaging. The one on the left is the original while on the right is the bootleg. There are some missing details from the bootleg and the color seems different. Let's take a closer look on the legit Nendoroid. Up front, on the upper left corner, you can see there's a Pokemon Center logo. A good small company logo on the opposite side. Some Japanese text and choking acid warnings on both sides. The Nendoroid number and name. The Nendoroid series at the bottom with the details of sculptor and manufacturer. And of course, Rashira. Bootleg, you can only see an orange Pokemon logo. Notice that there's no good small company but at the bottom you can see the Nendroid series logo. It almost looks the same but aside from the missing details at the top, Reshiram's color is also a bit yellowish while the original is white. On the top of the box almost the same but instead of Pokemon Center logo, the bootleg have Pokemon logo. There's also no GSC logo. On the left side of the box, same poses of N but the details at the bottom is different. You can see that they use a different website. At the back of the box, again same poses of the figure, the original have a lot of text and there's a GSC logo on the upper right corner. On the bootleg, the texts are in English and you can notice that they only use a regular tape instead of the circular one from the origin. On the right side of the box, same poses but the quality and color of the pictures are different. Also different website. At the bottom, almost the same case with the top part of the box. The bootleg don't use the Pokemon Center logo and no GSE logo. Opening the box of the original at the bottom, the manual will immediately pop up. You can also see the base with an extra joint. There's an extra silver cardboard background with the Nendoroid number. Both of these Nendos are back in the box when I bought them. But I noticed that when I opened the fake one, there's a lot of tape on the plastic clamshell. There's still a manual but the texts are only written in English and it's not back to back. Apparently the separate backboard of the fake Nendo have the same details with the original. It contains an Android number and an Android series with the same website. For the base and stand, the original have a white imprint text on the base. And the fake one is just a plain plastic. Now, let's take a closer look on the Dendroid itself. The original one looks perfect and seamless. The paint applications are great and the details are perfect. While the bootleg has a glossy touch, especially on the face plate, and the texture feels kind of weird if you touch it. You can only see that the joints are not quite intact and there's a bit of space. Here's a side by side of the Nendoroids.
can also notice on the bootleg that the necklace is also not completely painted. As for the face plate, in the original you can separate the face plate from the neck joint. While the bootleg uses an old mold of nendoroids where the neck joints is still a part of the face plate. It also quite noticeable that there are excess plastics in the bootleg. Eyes are also a bit different and the whole face is glossy. Also, the fake Nendoroid is very loose and some of the parts are not fit perfectly. One of the best way to differentiate an original Nendroid from a fake one is the Good Smile Company logo on the joints. Although the fake one have a Good Smile logo, it's still not perfect and there are some excess plastics. For Reshiram, the original is white with a bit touch of grey. There's also a bit of line inscribed on the tail up to the half of his body. Grayish blue rings on his collar and tail. Same colors with the cloth. It's also a good smell company on the joints on his wings. The fake Reshiram has a different color. I think it's yellowish white. It's almost the same design with the original but the plastic quality is low. As you can see, there are some seam lines and excess plastics. Texture is also weird and parts doesn't fit perfectly. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the original Reshiram and the fake Reshiram. Since this is a hard-to-find Android, the price of the original is high. I managed to get it around 3,500 pesos or 69 to 70 dollars. Since I was come for the bootleg, I also pay for the price of the original. But if you check the market or online stores, you can buy a bootleg Nendroid N for around 1,000 pesos or $20. Again, when buying things, always double check the items and the seller as well. I hope you learned something in this video and if you have questions and suggestions, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.